I feel like I'm going to the Oscars. My lady, my lord. That bitch can't wear this. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to prom season. I am many, many years from when I went to prom and yes, I will show you my super embarrassing prom photo. It is basically vintage at this point because I went in 20. 11. I'm on prom TikTok right now and people are going, they're pulling out all the stops. They are turning it out. I know there hasn't been prom in a few years and I feel like people are going hard. So I wanted to see what kind of dresses you can get for different price ranges. So I've got dresses ranging from $20 all the way up to I think $1,600. In each dress that I bought, I carefully selected as if I was going to prom. So I genuinely with each purchase planned in my hypothetical situation that I could and would wear this dress to prom. As we do our try on, let me know in the comments which one you would wear to prom because I've got a particular favorite but I can't wait to hear from you guys. Also, I'm launching a Discord starting tomorrow on Monday. Please hold, please hold, please hold. Monday the 23rd, I've got a Discord finally launching that I've been working on forever so I will have a link to that going live on Monday. Okay, let's try on and write some dresses. We are kicking it off with a bang, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I just want you to know that that took every leg muscle in my body after my workout yesterday. Oh my God, for $20, the waist is cinched, the legs are slit. I will say that like a cowl neck is something that I feel like my boobs were not quite meant to make happen, but I actually think it's falling not bad. And like, here's the back. This is a cute ass dress. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I genuinely think that everyone looks good in red and I am willing to be proved wrong. Unless you have a wildly unnatural sunburn, I just feel like red is a color that we collectively all look good in. And for $20? Bitch, I am gonna keep this dress for future events. When I reuse, reduce, recycle this dress for a coming event, you can just keep that a secret between us and whoever watches this video. I'm gonna write quality in at a four, a high three. A four? We'll go with four. Cause I'm feeling excited about the situation we've created here. Value, five stars. Six stars. The scale is out of five, and we're gonna go six stars. And do I look cute? Not to toot my own horn, but baby, I feel like a five. Okay, on one hand, I'm really excited because this is a stunning color. The corset bodice portion of this dress is so cute and fits so much better for it being like a cowl neck type, but not really, just like a little more flattering. The back is cute, but a bitch can't wear this. I will say the photos on the Fashion Nova website are not a false advertisement. I think that I maybe just don't have the same assets. like. Even if I were to hike, you know what? I think that there's actually not even an option to wear underwear in this dress, which like if you're all about taking risks, bitch, I welcome you to take this risk because damn. Otherwise though, outside of having to blur this dress in real life and on the internet, it's really pretty. So quality wise, I think that this is the same fabric, but just like better than our last dress. So I'm gonna ring it at a 3.5. We've got some lining in the bottom half. The back is really cute. Pretty impressive for $25. Anything value wise, I want to give it a five because it's so pretty and so affordable, but I just can't get there because a bitch can't wear it. So I think I think a 4.5 feels right. And then do I look cute in the dress? Blur included? 4.95? Am I being too nice to myself? I'm gonna be too nice to myself. It's just a good color, it's a good cut, I feel cute in it, I just feel a little naked. This video is going surprisingly well. Again with the red, no one looks bad in red. So a few things. This is an alarmingly soft fabric to the point that like it's a little fuzzy on the inside, which you guys know, I value the shit out of things that are wildly soft. But like, would that make you sweat on a dance floor or like at some kind of event? Possibly. Our event space is normally cold. 
Yes, could this be an asset? So do with that information as you will, but this is this is really pretty. It honestly hugs in all the right places. I've got one little bone to pick with this dress, and it's this sash here. In the photo, it definitely makes it seem like it's more of a full skirt. I see the strategy. I see exactly what the stylist and the photographer did. I see you. And I almost wish this just like wasn't attached. Like that's still really pretty like this or just like this was attached. I just kind of feel like it's giving Superman back here. I don't know, I feel weird about it. So final feelings on quality. Part of me wants to say a three, but it's so soft and I'm impartial to soft things. I, I have to go four, I have to go four. Let's talk value because like this, the Superman situation, it's not great. So for the price, obviously it's a beautiful dress, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go a three, a three five, maybe a three two on the value of what you're getting because this is just like not the full dress that I thought that I was getting. I do want to take a quick sec to appreciate the tushy in this dress. She looks really good. So do I look cute in this dress? I'm really torn. I'm really torn. And see, like, I just don't want to come off as conceited because I don't want to give myself too high of a rating because then, like, it, like, I do I really think I'm, like, that cute? It's giving Mean Girls, like, the, oh, so you do think you're really pretty and I just don't want to be that bitch. So we're, we're going to go 3-8. But I do like the dress. This is what I think of when I think of, like, quintessential prom dress. I would 100% wear this. I think it's very, very cute. I wish I had steamed her a little bit and I wish I had a leg cut as well, too. I'm feeling, like, a little trapped but it is giving princess vibes like my lady my lord the color wonderful the cut pretty wonderful the fit mostly wonderful the cuts and scrapes that i'm getting on the inside of my arms with any movement not so wonderful so i think if we're rating quality here it's not great value wise it's much better because it looks stunning on camera like it looks so good you've got boning and sequins on the corset portion and it flows out but i think it's like one of those things where it's like when you get a little bit closer you realize that it's not as cute as it is in photos and far away. So quality, I'm thinking like a three. I think there's also just something about this like shiny fabric that can look a little bit cheap, but value wise and like how good you're gonna look in your photos, 100% a four. And like, do I look cute? Would I wear this to prom? Absolutely, especially for $47. I could've worn four of these to my prom in 2011 with the price that I paid for my own prom dress. My name is Lauren and today I'm representing Canada as my country for today's pageants. My special, oh, my special hobbies include not knowing how to stand in a dress. <laughs> Feeling a little matronly and not quite giving prom vibes. I don't know what it was about the photos of what it looked like on the model that I was like, oh my God, I love this. It's so pretty because I kind of like to be a hoe and this is like way too much fabric. Like not having a leg slit, arms fully covered. Like it's just feeling like a lot. I'm feeling a little trapped. It's cute for somebody that is not me. I like to show a little leg. I like to have a little back. This also is a little bit too big, so I've got it pinned to the back here if you're wondering what this whole situation is. Quality wise, it's okay. Obviously for $75 to have sequins, a full dress of sequins is like highly commendable. But one of the main things that's missing is like that sticky strip that goes at the top of like anything strapless here and here to help it stay up. I'm really missing that right now. I feel like someone who is not blessed in the bosom. I'm really wishing that I had that like sticky strap. So quality wise, I'm gonna go three. The value, I think like for what you're getting, it is basically a gown. Like could I see mother of the bride wearing this? Yes. Could I see bridesmaids wearing this? Yes. Pageant queen, yes. Prom, maybe, just maybe not for me. But quality, honestly, like a four. You're, I mean, you're getting a whole last dress of sequins. Like, what more could you possibly ask for, except for a little, a little, you know, maybe like a little bit of sticky on the top of the corset? Do I look cute in it? Personally, it's not my favorite. It's probably my least favorite out of all the dresses I've tried on. So I'm gonna ring her in at a two. I'm sorry if that feels harsh. It's just like. I need to be able to feel a little hoier, you know? I've never felt better in my entire life. I feel like I'm going to the Oscars. I also just realized that I've never even tried on a dress of this magnitude 
the fanciest thing that I've been to is basically the streamies. And like, if I showed up for the streamies like this, everyone would be like, bitch, go home. You're trying too hard. You guys, this is what I'm saying about red. All of these red dresses collectively would look good on all of us. Oh my God. I just feel like I'm Oscars ready. When I said I wanted a full skirt out of that last red dress, this is what I meant. And honestly, I feel like it's only fair that this dress goes fives across the board. Quality bitch. Like I cannot even explain to you how heavy this dress is, but like in all the right ways, I've got boning in the back. I've got boning on the sides. And so it just gives it structure. I mean, look at the size of this mother skirt. You know when you see people on a red carpet and they have like that skirt Person. Basically what Cara Delevingne was doing for Megan Thee Stallion on the red carpet where they like toss the skirt for the photo. Catch me with a skirt with air and the thumbnail. Everything about this dress is a 10. Also value wise, like for the price, I am absolutely blown away. I think this dress out of all of them is gonna win for the best value because bitch, I will never be over this. This looked so classy on the model. And here I am feeling about a stylish 42. Not that there's anything wrong with being 42. I just, I thought it was gonna feel more trendy, mature, I guess. If I was going to a Devil Wears Prada funeral and wanted to show a little leg, maybe find a man at the funeral, this is what I would wear. But just like for the price? Girl, I think that this could photograph well. I just feel like maybe it's too much fabric here, but like it fits really well. Like the waist genuinely is such a perfect fit, but there's just so much fabric here. Maybe the hair will just cover this up. The hair is an accessory. Not my first time doing that. Quality wise though, I will say that it's a really well made dress. It's got some incredible like ruching detail here. The waist and zipper feels really nice. The overall structure of the dress is like pretty incredible. So. I'm gonna go 4.5 value. Bitch, she coming in last for value. This is a 1.5, maybe a two. I just had this vision of like the classiest prom dress in my mind. And so value for the price of this dress, I'm sure there's a time and a place. Prom is not it. And that also might just be a reflection of me making poor decisions and being sold by a model. And do I look cute in this? Would I wear this to prom? Also a two? Also a two. I'm utterly speechless. This might be one of like the most unique, prettiest dresses I've ever tried on. Everything about this is just so fun. In these moments, I'm always like, I wish I had somewhere to wear this because bitch, I feel like a million bucks. <sighs> so we've reached the top tier. This dress is a lot. It's like wildly expensive to the point that I genuinely can't pinpoint what event would have to come up in my life for me to justify spending this much money? Like, is the dress stunning? Yes. Have I ever seen anything like it? No. But I'm gonna be honest, the red gown made me feel better? I don't know, like it's so unique and it's so fun and like I'm obsessed with it, but like the red gown, I just like, I can't get it out of my mind. Quality is, is I was gonna say 10, but like top of scale is five, but also a 10, I mean that as well too. Like it's beautifully built. It also comes with all of like the pieces that you need under, oh my God, not trying to die or flash you. It like comes with all the pieces that go underneath the dress. Like the quality is incredible. Like it's stunning. The difference between an Amazon, a Fashion Nova, a Wish dress and something like this is obviously worlds apart. Value. I'm torn here because like it is a stunning, beautiful dress that is like worth obviously being in like a top tier price range. But like that's so much money, dude. I don't know. And like maybe I'm just someone who, who for prom, I spent 200 bucks on my dress and obviously I've tried on so many other stunning dresses that are so much more affordable that I almost want to give this a 3.5. Like that is so much money. And then do I feel cute in what I wear to prom? Duh. Five out of five, 10 out of 10. If someone else is footing the bill or you can do like the rent the runway dress, absolutely. Because this is the most unique dress that I will genuinely be so sad to part with. I will hold this dress in my memories forever, but not as much as I'll hold the red dress in my memories forever.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which dress is your favorite and which one you would wear to prom and also which one you would want me to go to prom in. I can't go to prom because I feel like that's weird once you're this old. But like, which, which one is your fave? Let me know. I will have links for all of these dresses in the description box below. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you for a new episode of Wild Till 9 over on the podcast channel. New vlogs every week on the vlog channel. And again next Sunday for another video. Bye guys.